is Oluwatu Sinsenami Adegum. I am the director of ISH 61, a human rights and social justice initiative. I participated in the course Judicial Enforcement of Socioeconomic Rights in Africa in year 2020. In virtue of this course, I must say that I have gained a lot of knowledge in how the courts have interpreted socioeconomic rights, like the right to health, the right to education in Africa. Importantly, I have been able to know that socioeconomic rights are justiciable in Africa. And by virtue of this, I have been able to counter you know, the arguments by government institutions that social economic rights are non justiciable. Secondly, I was inspired by virtue of my participation in the course to register a non governmental organization, which is the ISC 61 Human Rights and Social Justice Initiative. And the reason for this is to further the research, even my advocacy, and to help in realizing social economic rights in Nigeria and in Africa. Thirdly, I have been able to have a public discussion on realization of the right to education of children, particularly the Almagiris. By virtue of my participation in the course, I was exposed to the Talibis case where the right to education of the Talibis was actually enforced by the courts. And by, by virtue of this, because the situation of the Talibis is similar to the Almagiris in Nigeria, I was able to you know, involve experts in having a discussion. Also, I've been able to engage government institutions like the Ministry of Education and Lagos State. In this sense, I've been able to see ways that rights to education of children can be realized. And in all, the basis of this is to encourage you to also register and participate in this course. Economic rights are germane to our socioeconomic development as people in Africa. Thank you. Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Joseph Papi Patema. I am heading a non-governmental organization, an NGO known as Support Trust. Support Trust is a charitable NGO registered in Malawi in the year 2015 and SACOT is an abbreviation which stands for Sub-Saharan Child and Community Development. The socioeconomic rights uh, course which I attended uh, from 18th to 22nd of May has had another huge impact on my uh, practical experience uh, in the sense that uh, I have cap capably managed to, to refine and restructure the organization of support trust as far as socioeconomic rights are, are concerned. In addition, I, I viably researched on uh, socioeconomic rights through my thesis in my Bachelor's of Human Rights degree, whereby I was looking at uh, socioeconomic rights uh, in terms of customary land rights and I focused on 15 villages of uh, Chitukula community which is in Longwe in Malawi. So there's also an experience which is very important uh, through which I go through my, my thesis research uh, which availed me to, uh, to have an experience with judicial enforcement of socioeconomic rights in, in Africa. In this case, I'm talking about Malawi. I had to make consultation with, uh, consultations with the High Court in the wrong way, and uh, I have two interesting outcomes whereby most of the, 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 the claimants, they had a representation by the legal, private legal practitioners. Uh, however, uh, some grievances that they had brought forward had no uh, sounding grounds as far as their rights are supposed to be concerned, probably due to ignorance or lack of knowledge as far as the socioeconomic rights are concerned. So uh, that's why I would connect to say that uh, for, for, for any prospective uh, person interested to, to look at, at the welfare of, of people in terms of socioeconomic rights, 
I would encourage them to, to seek more professional knowledge and in this case, uh, as far as socioeconomic rights are concerned, probably through the Center for Human Rights in, in Pretoria because this would increase their uh, feasibility to, to handle violations of people's rights as far as socioeconomic rights are concerned. My name is Emmanuel Chibiken Joko. I'm a lawyer by training and I'm a professional assistant at the African Union ECOSOC office in Lusaka, Zambia. Regarding the impact of the course on my career, I would say that in my current capacity in ECOSOC, which is a technical and advisory organ of the African Union, I'm now better positioned to contribute to uh, policy recommendations to AU judicial and quasi judicial organs in relation to their role towards the actualization of socioeconomic rights for Africans. And also, since the course, I found myself on several locations uh, advising my colleagues practicing at home on uh, practical strategies towards securing judicial pronouncements on matters affecting socioeconomic rights in Nigeria. For participants this year, I would encourage you to give yourself wholly to this course. It's, it's rich, it's highly impactful, and more importantly, it features a unique caliber of speakers with proven experience in the area. You don't want to miss this. Everyone, Swanumbo Nani. My name is Nkosana Maposa, a law lecturer at Great Zimbabwe University at Chitepo Law School in Zimbabwe. In today's session, I will share my experience having attended an advanced human rights course on judicial enforcement of socioeconomic rights in Africa held from 18 to 22 May 2020. In the course, I learned various issues such as conceptual issues on socioeconomic rights, that is the definition of socioeconomic rights, the types of socioeconomic rights, and the domestic, national, and international systems on human rights. What is more striking about the courses offered by the University of Pretoria is the experts who facilitate the discussion. In this segment on socioeconomic rights, the course was taught by renowned professionals such as Professor Langford, Professor Fenewen, Dr. Gustav, Professor Lippenbeck from the University of Stellenbosch, among others. In terms of the practical impact of the course, having participated, I have now have increased knowledge on socioeconomic rights. Tied to that is also my improved uh, competence to undertake self-driven and independent research on socioeconomic rights. I now have a better appreciation of the various instruments on socioeconomic rights, such as the Investor Declaration of Human Rights, the International Covenant on Economic, Social and Cultural Rights, the African Charter on Human and People's Rights, and other specific instruments and protocols on the same, be it in the African human rights system, in the international system, and comparative jurisdictions. Above all, I was fascinated by discussions on comparative jurisdictions or jurisprudence on socioeconomic rights in South Africa. I would urge prospective applicants either judicial officers, civil society leaders, and postgraduate students to consider the Center for Human Rights as it is a hub where African leaders are made, where people who are interested in socioeconomic transformation can make their dreams a reality. Thank you very much for watching.